kid. I live in the city. City is a great place, but sometimes you just gotta get out. All stories have a beginning. This one began in a playground that I outgrew when I was seven. My sister Allison and I were a couple bored kids. We had nothing to look forward to this summer. Our parents had decided a vacation was out of the question. Allison was saying something about her friend Wendy going to a dude ranch in Colorado. I'd heard a lot about Colorado but I didn't know what a dude ranch was. So I asked, what's a dude ranch? It's where you ride horses and eat stuff like that. Wow, I could be a cowboy and ride a real horse. You heard, Mom. The only horse you'll be riding is that one. Come on, let's go. I considered myself to be a pretty smart kid. Never fell for any of that fairy tale stuff adults are always telling us. But my sister, she was a different story. She'd fall for anything. Robbie, Robbie! Robbie, look, what is this? Oh, it's just a little piece of junk. Have you heard of Aladdin and his magical lamp? Sure, Dad wrote to me a long time ago. It's a fantasy about this magic lamp that has magic things. Come on, let's go home. Yeah. Well, you know what they say. One man's junk is another man's... Uh, well, you know how it goes. Ta -da! <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. Greetings and salutation. I'm the genie of the lamp. At your side. I didn't know where to pinch myself or start running. Not to worry, fair lady. I'm the genie of the lamp. Your servant. I want to go to Colorado and see what Wendy is doing at the dude ranch. I think I'd like to be a real cowboy. Well, that's two out of three. Two out of three? Well, you know. Three wishes. That's it. Okay, Genie, show us your stuff. <laughs> Are you ready? No, we couldn't. Our folks, though. It only takes. Allison, where are you? Where the heck am I? We're invisible. I think I'm gonna get sick. <laughs> Squire Robbie, Lady Allison, Denver, Colorado, gateway to the Rockies. <laughs> Children, there it is. I didn't know where we were, but I knew we were a long way from the playground. Robbie, there's Wendy and her folks. If Allison was right, and she was, and this was a dude ranch in Colorado. The genie had come through for Allison, so I started to get excited about riding a real horse. Morning, folks. My name is Luke Johnson, and I'm head wrangler on this outfit. I've been working on dude ranches for a number of years now, and you know, there's nothing I'd rather be doing than helping people to know about horses, and <laughs> of course, helping horses to know about people. You know, there's a lot more to this horseback riding than most people think. On this ranch, we teach it as a sport. 
And like any sport, there are certain things you need to know in order to be good at. It's a fact that most folks that own and ride horses really don't know and understand the needs of the animals they're riding and caring for. Now, during your stay here, you'll be assigned a horse. We will show you the correct way to take care of that horse from feeding and grooming to handling tack and, of course, riding. The first thing you want to remember is that you're a team. It's you and your horse. Your job is not to fight with your horse, but to send him signals that he understands. So remember, he doesn't want to become confused. You'll want to remember that a horse knows what he knows, not necessarily what you know. I reckon there's a little bit of cowboy in all of us. What kid hasn't played cowboy sometime during his childhood? It doesn't matter whether he's from Dallas or Detroit, Colorado or Connecticut. There's always been a certain mystique about the cowboy and his horse. The lure of the West has been in the hearts of Americans since the, well, before the turn of the century. I was learning that there was a lot more to riding a real horse than there is to riding that thing in the playground, but I knew I could do it. In the late 1800s, dude ranching became a viable industry, helped by people like Teddy Roosevelt, who came west for his health and then told of the wonderful country that he found in the majestic Rocky Mountains. In the early days, dude ranching catered to the wealthy who dressed up in fancy clothes, hence the name dude. They would spend from two weeks to an entire summer working on ranches. Nowadays, and especially in Colorado, the dude ranch has evolved into a complete vacation for families and couples, and single folks. Nowhere at such reasonable rates can folks have such a complete vacation in an atmosphere that is totally different from the ordinary resort. And while the horse remains at the heart of every dude ranch, there is also a wide variety of activities for all ages. Everybody was relaxing, but I was getting antsy to ride a horse. <laughs> Jeannie, why are you putting your hat on the horse? This hat never does what I want it to. It was like a dream. There were so many things to do and see. It looked like Wendy and her parents were having a great time. Allison and I wished we could talk to them, but they couldn't see or hear us. of how my mom said she was tired of cooking and cleaning on our vacations. Not at the dude ranch. I knew this would be a perfect vacation for mom too. There was a nice cool breeze. It was great. Mother would love these flowers. <laughs> Now you know why it's called Colorful Colorado.
was starting to get a little nervous. If the genie didn't really know how to ride a horse, how was I ever going to learn? This brings up an interesting point. If you don't feel like riding a horse, there are plenty of other things to do instead. But I, for one, wanted to ride a real horse. lunch, I decided to take my destiny into my own hands. I was quick to realize that it's one thing to get on a horse, it's another thing to ride one. said, you should spend time trying to get to know your horse. So that's what I did. Most of the afternoon, Allison and the genie watched the McAdams and the other guests enjoy themselves. pies coming out of that oven, I knew it was time to give that horse a break.
steaks are looking good. Let's eat. about the genie. I only wish that somehow we'd all come back to the Dude Ranch for a real vacation. I don't want to go yet. I just started to get to know my horse. Sorry, kids, but this is the end of the first two wishes. <laughs> All right, buckaroos. You have one wish left. What would you like? We wish you to be free from the lamp forever. Well, in that case, I bid you both farewell, Squire Robbie. Lady Alice. And this is for you, Robbie. And that's just to remind you, whenever you need me, I'm only as far away as your imagination. Adieu. good news for you. We're going on vacation after all. We decided to do what the McAdams family did and go to a dude ranch in Colorado. I think it'll be just the thing. Mom, I know it will. Howdy, partner. Robbie, where'd you get that? We found it with this. Uh, it's a water pitcher, I think. So that's how it happened. Though our third wish was to set the genie free, Alice and I knew that he grant his own wish for us. Oh, 
<laughs> if you like what you see, you don't need a genie. Just write Ranches, Box 300, Tabernash, Colorado, 80478.